Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video we will continue learning our course on becoming a Microsoft Office Certified Associate. So in this video I'm going to cover how to insert and remove hyperlinks. So to do that I have created this file wherein I will be telling you how to create a hyperlink to a website, to a file on a folder, to a new email or to a current document or a new document. Now before that, what is a hyperlink? Well, hyperlink is a connection from your Excel to something else. Like, this is my website name. If I click over here, alright, it will take me to my website. That is what is a hyperlink. I'll show it to you in action, okay? And then I'll tell you how to edit a hyperlink or how to delete a hyperlink. Now, let's start immediately so that you know what is a hyperlink. So to create a hyperlink, you simply just type the name of a website. Like for example, I'm going to type the name of my website. All right. And if I click over here now, it will open my browser window and it will take me there. See, this is my website. These are the courses. Simple. So this is one of the easiest way to create a hyperlink, you simply just type the name of the website. It can be any website. If I type www.google.com, it will take me to Google. Easy, right? Now you can create a link to your file in your computer. How? I'll tell you. Now, there is another way to create a hyperlink which is usually asked in the exam is you do a right click on the cell, click on link and this section would open up. So, from here, you can go ahead and link it to a existing file on your computer like this is a file that I have on my computer to which I want to link to. If I want to go to any other folder, I will simply click over here. And it will open the folder structure in my system and then I can navigate to that folder structure. I can also go to a website and link a website also from here. So what we did over here by typing it, we can do it from here also. So now I am going to link it to my this file. Okay. So automatically this file is linked. If I click over here, this file will open. So I have linked two Excel files. You can link any type of file. It can be a PPT, it can be a Word file also. Similarly, you can also link to an email address. There is now another way of creating a hyperlink. Okay, that is Control K. This is also asked in the exam. Control plus K. You press them together. And this box would open. And now, if you go over here, email address, you can Simply go ahead and type the email address like I'll type my email address account at the rate my e lesson dot org. Subject hello and then I can press OK. So if I click over here now, okay, it will open my email application. In my case, my email application is the Microsoft email application and I can use that email application to send an email. Now I can also go ahead and create a hyperlink to connect these sheets or go to any specific cell. Okay, how? Let me show you. Again, I am going to press Control K and place in this document. I will click over here. And now, I have sheet 1, sheet 2, I will go to sheet 2 and with cell, I will say cell, uh, this is A1, okay, in sheet 2, so I will go to A1, I am here, A1, automatically. And, bonus tip, I can link it back to the other sheet, how, I will press control K. And I will give this name and to cell A1. If I click here now, it has gone here. And if I click here now, it will go here. This way, I have linked my sheet. 
edit this tool. Now you can edit a hyperlink very, very easily. All right. Now all you have to do is just do a right click. All right. And you get this option edit hyperlink, open hyperlink, remove hyperlink. So if you click on edit hyperlink, you can do whatever you want. You can change the website name or link it to something else. And if you want to delete a hyperlink, again, very simple, do a right click and you have an option of remove hyperlink. And the hyperlink is gone, but the text is not gone. See, you have to understand that this is a link removal exercise, not text removal exercise. If I press Ctrl Z, this will come back. If I want to remove this now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press delete, so everything is gone. But if I just want to remove the hyperlink, I'll click on remove hyperlink and the text will remain, but the hyperlink will be gone. Isn't this cool? Now, give, let me give you another quick tip, a bonus. Now, I can go ahead and rename what it says over here. It says sheet 2 A1, right? Or whatever it says over here. I can change whatever it says. Do a right click, go to edit hyperlink and over this section, text to display, you type in anything. and you can type in whatever you want over here, like link to sheet 2. Okay. And it says link to sheet 2. Totally up to you, whatever you want to type. So this is how we go ahead and navigate within our workbook to insert and remove hyperlinks. This is a very important question that comes in the exam. So I hope you go ahead and practice it. To practice it, you can download this practice file and this complete curriculum from my website myelesson.org i hope you like this video see you in the next